welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, today's video is a very long-awaited room tour. But before I get into this room tour, I just want to, like, update you guys on, like, this whole situation in my room and why I'm here and just, like, a little bit about what's been going on. I know I probably did a little bit about what's going on in my last video, which is to get ready for me for my first solo. Um, if you've seen that, I have not checked the views on that yet, but if you've seen it, thank you for watching it. I hope you guys liked it. I'm sorry it was really bad, but this video is going to be so much better. Okay, so, update. Basically, I live at my dad's house full time now, which is kind of awkward because my mother lives in the basement. My parents are actually separated, if you did not know this. Um, but my mom lives in the basement. It's just this fun thing where we're all living in the same house. Which is so nice because I just love that we, I don't have to travel between houses now. But I love having all my stuff in one house and my room is basically finally finished. There's going to be like maybe two parts where I'm like, I don't know where to put this yet. And you're just going to have to deal with it because I didn't know what to do. And I really wanted to get this video out for you guys. But that is my update. I've been gone for a good couple weeks, like two weeks or something. I've been so busy between work, dance. I had dance competitions. That's one of the reasons why I was like really stressed out. And I could not get myself to like film a video because I was stressing about like the competition because I was not ready. I was, was not ready. But I did really well, which is good. Cause so taking that break was a good choice. But I'm back now and I'm really excited. Like I cannot stress enough how much fun it was for me to like set up this camera situation and like how excited I am to like move this crap around my room in order to film this for you guys. I'm so excited about it. I love YouTube and it's so one of my favorite things to do. So, further ado, let's do my room tour. Okay, I don't know where to start. Okay, so you walk in, so you used to be right there. And now you're right there. Um, anyways, so you walk in and first you see this beautiful little thing. Um, sometimes this entire like section gets like moved over and this door just like hits my backpack which is kind of rough but it's fine you see my clothing rack super great i love her she i when we moved in i was like mom i have to have space for my clothing rack because we were trying to figure out how i was going to arrange my room and i had room for my clothing rack and more so i'm really excited about it anyways so my clothing rack and then if you see right here we've got a little photo wall and i'm really 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 happy with the way it turned out um, it is kind of awkward because down below you kind of get like weird splotches of like not pictures. But if you pan up above. Okay, so up above, as you can kind of see, the photo wall, you can see it a lot better. And that's really what my main goal was because most of the clothes kind of like hide the fact that like. And like you just really don't look down enough for you to see what is missing. But up is where, up there is where I put all my favorite photos and stuff like that. Like we got Damon Salvatore up there in the corner. Super fun. I love it. Um, yeah, so, and then we've got up here on top, if you can see that, I've got some inspirational books, a little moon light, um, and then we've got some, uh, jar of coins and a, some pride flags that I got at the pride festival a couple years ago, I don't remember. Um, uh, and then I have this little thing full of all my sunglasses, if you remember this from one of my other room tours, there's that. Um, and then if you can kind of see over here. Okay, so if you can kind of see on this wall, we have these little fans. Um, all of which are from Mexico. I can't remember where these ones were from. I have two of them, I don't know why. Um, but I hung them up on my wall. And this one is really cool because it says Boracay on it. I'm pretty sure my dad got it for me, but like... Okay, so all the way up there, you can kind of see that is a little photo collage thing. Um, and it says, uh, Daddy's Baby Girl, just because, I don't know, I don't know, I'm pretty sure my mom made it. I don't really know. I think me and my sister both have one, but it's, like, pictures of me and then pictures of me of me and my dad. But I think he hung it up there a while ago because I didn't know, I couldn't find anywhere to put it. And I was like, someone, please put this somewhere. And I think my dad just kind of hung it up there. So that's the plan there. Ta-da. So now we've gone over to, like, my side of my desk right here. So back here in like this corner, it's really not anything special. I have my Hamilton records, which I got for Christmas, if you saw that video. Um, and then I have like a broom thing. You can't really see it, but it's for dance. Anyway, I have my work shoes that hid in the corner and then a trash can. Uh, then I have this water bottle just sitting on my, be my, my desk. On my desk. 
it's not even a desk. It's a side. It's a nightstand. You know what I mean. Anyway, it just says choreographer. It's from my dance teacher. I have this vitamin water that I've been drinking all day. A remote, which you'll see in a minute. I have some chapstick. My mask that I wear on a like I only really wear it as much as I can until I feel like I need to wash it. And then we have my lamp, a fan over there because I can. And now we're gonna move into the drawers. Okay, so now we're in the drawers. There's a lot happening right now, so let's get this out of the way before, I'm gonna go kind of fast. This stuff, ignore, that's stuff that you'll find out about later. Basically, um, we have my iPad with like this little like container thing that I like put the stuff I use the most in. So like I, next to it, I have like my Apple pencil charger, and then I have like this thing that my sister made me out of resin, and then my iPad. Um, that and this that I'm sneak peeking because it is for a YouTube video that you guys will be seeing later on. Um, I have two masks, some Tylenol because, you know, life. A little cup I got for Christmas, I'm pretty sure you guys saw that. Um, some stuff I also did get for Christmas. I got me and my dad Karate Kid movies. And then, like, most of the stuff I really did get for Christmas because Christmas was, like, the beginning of us moving into the house. So, like, I kind of, a lot of stuff that's, like, in my drawers and stuff are from Christmas. Anyway, I have, like, my, what's it called, speaker, um, along with this 90s game. I put it up here because I want to, like, try to play it, but I just never do. And then this burn book situation I have here. Basically, that's, that's it for this first drawer. Okay, second drawer is kind of hot mess, so I'm just going to go speedy. These are just a bunch of books that I have, some old stuff, a bag of, like, Polaroids, more books these old weird masks that I just don't like because like they go over your entire head and they make me uncomfortable. Anyway, that's really it. There's like some fairy lights in here. It's nothing, nothing cute. We, we're done. Bye. Okay, so we're back to being down and at the ground um, because I like to keep things on my floor apparently, like in corners. So yeah, anyway, so this is me over here now. Um, basically my school backpack doesn't really have like a set place. It's kind of awkward. Because I just like take it every day and then I just throw it on my floor. So it's right here. For right now it's in the corner. Um, and then I have my photography bag and some slippers. And then right here hanging on the wall which is kind of an awkward place where you can't really see it in the video. But I'll make sure you guys know what it is. I have my Polaroid camera just hanging here. My dad set this little section up when he... Because if you guys saw like my video where my dad... Or like where my room got entirely redone... Um, my dad was the one who, like, moved everything around. So, yeah. Um, and that's why I'm giving you guys a more, like, in-depth, like, room tour. Um, mostly just because, like, you guys did see, like, a broad room situation when I was, like, redoing my room. But, like, some stuff is different and, like, you guys don't know what's in drawers and stuff like that. So, anyway. I have this can, -can which has, like, more bags inside of it, which is, you guys don't need to see that. Um, and then I have this painting... Um, that was made for me before I was like, or like right when I was born or something. It says I love everything that is, I love everything that as long as it's purple. Which really was really funny to me because my room was purple growing up. And then purple like was my favorite color for like the longest time. Like currently, favorite color is still purple but like I'd add to it with like, um, pink, brown, and sage green. I don't know why, it's just become a thing. Anyway, shall we move our way back to standing? I think that's a good idea. You think? I think so. Okay, guys. We're going above first. We're going above. So, this is like a little corner. So, my door is here, right? And you come over and this is like a little corner situation. Um, we've got two shelves right here along with like a bunch of records. Um, I want to buy some more records and then I want to do like a record collection video for you guys. Just to kind of show you guys what I have. But I want to collect more before I show anything like that. So... Where, you know, um, I have my record player here. I'm going to hop up on my thing. You'll see it in a minute. Anyway, um, and just kind of so I can show you guys more of what I have up here. Hi, I am up high now. So I have this dance trophy. If you guys saw that from my last video for high point, I just have that sitting up here because I don't know what to do with it. Um, and then I have like this little waterfall thingy. And a snow globe that I did not get from Paris. It's of the Eiffel Tower, but it's, I don't know where I got it. Um, 
Then there's a statue of elephants back here, which I'm not going to pull out. And then there's like another weird thing that you guys don't need to see. Anyways, as you guys are kind of seeing as I step down and like try not to hurt myself, there is a TV. I got a TV. Um, it's chilling in the corner. I'm going to do a bit of a broader view when I tell you guys what's in the drawers. That's what we're going to do next. Okay. Okay, so yeah, there's the TV there, and these are my drawers. I'm just going to tell you what's in them rather than opening them. So yeah, first drawer is literally swimsuits are, like, over here-ish. And then you kind of move your way over, and then, like, in the back-ish, there's, like, my underwear and stuff like that. And then there's bras and socks and all that jazz, okay? And then there's a second drawer, which consists of all my bottoms, like, jeans. Mostly just jeans and then, like, the shorts that, the shorts that I'm wearing currently. Are right here and like shorts but i only have two pairs of shorts and i'm ordering more so we'll find a way to fit all those in there anyway then i have leggings and pajama bottoms in this short and then there's another bottom drawer down here which has my pajama shirts and then a very very bottom drawer which just has like clothes that i don't ever wear and like random stuff like that and then i'm just going to quickly explain that there is like a bunch of trophies down at the bottom along with my snow globe collection which I'm hoping to get like a big shelf to put along the wall that has like my bathroom door on it. Um, because I just like want to hang up. I want to like display some more of my trophies and display all those snow globes that I've been collecting for years. Anyway, I also have this that I will be putting in the corner by the by the stressor. But it's like really hard for me to put it in the corner with all these trophies sitting in the corner as well. But yeah, there's my rec my record player. She's my... Ukulele. Anyway, we're gonna move on to my like window. This and there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Moving on. Okay. I feel like the lighting looks like really yellow right now, so you're just gonna have to like deal with it for two seconds. But anyway, I have a couch. This used to be in my sister's room, I believe, and I don't remember where it was before that. I think it was in like I don't know my sister's room for a really long time. But she didn't want it anymore, and she got, like, a bigger couch, and now she's going to get rid of that big couch and do something else. I don't really know what's up with her sitch, but this is my couch. I have this blanket, which my dad got me as a minky. Then I just have, like, some pillows chilling on it. I also have a carpet down here that I will kind of pan to before we go into my desk area. It's super cute. The layout of it is really, really weird right now, and I'm trying to get it to, like, straighten out, but it just, I can't, it won't work. So it looks really weird, so just enjoy that while we transition. Okay, we've made our way to my desk. Super fun. So, basically, this desk is so nice. I love it. It's super cute. We've got, like, this little side thing, which I will pan down to once I'm going to go through that with you guys. Um, but it's got a cute little wood color. Super nice. I have a little calendar thing that my dad bought me, along with some stickers, which I'm going to put on my new water bottle. I literally just got it, like... 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes, 5 minutes before I started it. Um, I have this little lamp, and then I have my laptop, which I really need a new case for, and I also really need to get it fixed. It's kind of broken, but that's fine. Anyway, I have this little jar full of tacks. I have this little mug that says, all things are wild and free. Super cute. Um, anyway, I have this little, like, candle warmer situation thingy. I don't know. I'll show you guys. I have a bunch of, like, scents for it. And then back here we have a fake cactus and a picture of my parents. These are a picture. This is a picture of my parents when they were younger. Kind of weird, huh? Kind of weird. Anyway. Okay, so this is the little section right here. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, so I zoomed it in a little. Um, I have these little blue light glasses. I know this is like so basic to have, but like, girl. Anyway. This is my blue light glasses. I edit and I was like on my laptop for so long that I like felt like they were necessary. So I bought those. I have my calendar, which, you know, I use aside from the one that's up there. So I have my calendar. I have another calendar that I need to figure out where I'm going to hang it because I got it for Christmas, which I picked out, but like, whatever. Anyway, I got this like girl boss one and I want to hang it up somewhere, but I don't know where to hang it up. So we're sticking it here for now. And then I have a journal along with my laptop, my laptop, along with my YouTube journal and a journal for my modern class because I'm required to like take notes and stuff. So I have that along with like these weird notes and stuff. I have a little pack 
this thing for my car that I haven't put in a car yet, so. Then I got this little book from my dance teacher to start choreographing in, so I'm gonna be working on some really fun stuff soon. And then I said I would show you guys my scents that I have. So let me pull those out. I have a lot of scents, okay? So I wanna share them with you because, you know, like why would I make an entire video dedicated to scent, haul scent hauls? Even though I totally could, because I have so many. Okay, so the one that is in currently is a is the winter mint one. This is the one that came with it. I'll do the ones that came with it first. So the mint one, and then the cashmere and silk one. I haven't used that one yet. The only ones I've used so far were the mint one, and I think that's it. No way. There was one more that I used, but I think it, I don't know which one it was. Anyway. Um, and then glazed pumpkin. I haven't tried that one yet. I'm not a big pumpkin person, but like, sounds good. This one is fresh linen. Um, and then I have lemon sugar, which is, sounds so good. It looks like it's been already used. I don't know. I think my, it was my dad's or something and he put it in here. Um, and then I have another lemon sugar. Um, so there's that one for me. And then we have a sunlit berry situation. I don't really know. Sounds pretty good though. Um, and then we have a ocean blue, ocean blue mist. Super good. Super yummy. I'm excited. I'm going to try some more. I want to like switch it out and do another one soon. Okay, let's move on. So I moved the chair. I moved the chair and we've got a little situation down here, which is super easy and quick. So we'll do it quickly. Um, down at the bottom, I have a bunch of old school stuff along with a stuffed animal that I will tell you guys about later. His birth certificate. Super cute. Um, so I have all of this down here um yeah anyway so those are just like old school stuff and like my all of my um yearbooks are down there this is art stuff i have the markers that i use for one of my journaling like for modern i have to journal with like i can journal like however i want and i usually journal with these fun markers and then i have a bunch of other stuff like markers in here like a little thing of paints back here and then at the top this is all the stuff that i might use like recently I have like a Spanish notebook that I don't really use anymore because I'm not technically taking that class right now. But I have another Spanish dictionary, um, a planner that my school gives me, a calculator, random stuff like that. So there's that. And then I have this little thing that I got for Christmas. If you guys saw that video, it's like a little like foldable thingy. I have that there. I have more old school stuff in this bag that's kind of being hidden right there. Um, but yeah, let's move on. Okay, so first and foremost, this is my Alex Shore set. She's super cute. I love her. Um, if you guys remember my video a very, very long time ago, is when we were first moving in to the last house I was in with my mom. Um, I had did like two different room tours and like two makeovers in that house. But I did buy this for that house, and it's still going strong. Like she's doing okay. But I had these got these little hooks for these little bags that I got. This one is from Sheen. Um, Shein, or I don't, I don't know how you say it, but there's that one, super cute, super nice. Um, this one I actually thrifted on Depop. I actually really like this one a lot. I wear this one a lot more than I wear, like, most bags, but she is really cute. I love her, too. Um, but yeah, let's pan back up to the top of my desk, my desk, on the top of this drawer set, and then we will move on to the drawers. Okay, so this is going to be kind of awkward because you can see my ring light in the mirror. Anyway, there's a mirror. Yeah. Anyway, so up here, I really just have my jar of rose petals and, like, flower petals. I don't really know. I have this cute little jar thingy. I don't... See? And then I have this little thing, which I keep all bunch... Of, I want to fill it up with, like, all the crystals I can possibly get. Um, there are a bunch of tumble rolled, like, crystals and stuff in here already but i want to get like all types of crystals and start filling this thing up with it okay so yeah and then i have this little book that i put underneath it like this but she i love her i don't know why i've been calling them all hers but anyway um the framing of this video right now is kind of awkward i'm sorry i'll go faster anyway so basically it's super cute it has lines in it but like my dad found it and it's so cute and i want to like write a bunch of fun stuff in it or but i'm just afraid of like ruining it because my handwriting sucks but the drawers are right here. So we're going to transition into like a different way so you guys can see the drawers. Okay? Cool. Okay, so now we're going to go through all my drawers and show you guys what's up. So this is my witch drawer. Um, So I have like, I haven't opened this yet, but I have some sage with like a little thing. Um, A lot of this stuff that I get, I get it from 
a place in Salt Lake, which I can link down below. It's called Dancing Cranes. I love it. Um, yeah, so I have, then I have these candles. Um, and then I have this little jar that my friend made for me for Christmas, I believe. Um, and it was for good luck and anti-anxiety, which is really nice. Then I have some more of these candles that I can use. I have found this little thing. I don't know where I got it from. I think my friend had it. I really need to clean it, but like this would be so fun for, I don't know, anything really. Um, and then I have some feathers. Um, and then I have my tarot cards. And then I have a book on basic witches, which has like a lot of fun, like easy witch stuff to do. Um, and then I have my little wand that my dad's friend made for all of us, super fun. Then I have some incense and then an incense holder that I also got from Nancy Grains. But this stuff now is just like random stuff. Like I have a app, my AirPods case, and another AirPods case, another AirPods case because my dad bought these two weird, like two weird ones like this kind of, I guess. I don't know. I'm using the black one right now and this one has like blue stuff in it. Then I have a bunch of phone cases. Um, I have a case to fire case, which is um, a real guards. And then this one is a wildflower case. I just put them both in this case to find one. I really want to buy some more case to find one. Anyway, I have this thing full of a bunch of Polaroids that I have. I don't know. Then I have some headphones, Beats headphones that I have not used in a good chunk of time. And then I have like all like my precious necklaces and bracelets that like I would literally die if I lost. I put them all here because I don't want to lose them. Moving on, drawer down. This drawer is literally so like nothing. This is like my wrist thingy because I have and this in case my ankles or my wrist, I don't know. I just have, you, you know, dancer issues. Anyway, um, and then I have, this is my score sheet from my competition, along with a backpack that I got from my competition. Moving on, let's move down. Okay, this drawer is normally just like a belt drawer. I have like this one that I have not worn in a million years. This one and this one are the ones that I wear the most. And then I have this one. I don't know, I'm trying to make good use out of them, but like, I want to make good use out of them, but I kind of suck at that. So, I don't know. Um, let's make this one smaller. Put that there. I have this cute little heart one that I want to try to find something good to go with it. I have my DS. If you guys watched my DS video, that's my DS right there. Um, that's where I'm storing it. If you guys have not seen my DS video, I suggest you watch that. And then... I have this little neon sign that I got from Tyrell. Um... I love his brand and I love his YouTube channel. So I bought this and I don't know where to put it yet. So we're still working on it. I promise you, Tyrell, I am not going to just store it here and leave it there. I want to hang it up, I swear. Moving on. Okay, so moving on, we've got just like a book, a book drawer, I guess. I don't know, I have like all these books in here that I've been wanting to read, but I'm a terrible reader. Like I suck at reading and I have no time to read. Anyway, and then I have this little like stretch tools, like a TheraBand and stuff in there. And then I think there's like, Oh look, there's like more books and like all the Harry Potter movies are back there, but that's that. Okay, so down one more. We've got the famous YouTube drawer. I've got like my, this is the bag my camera is usually in. I've got two different tiny tripods that I can use. Um, I have a GoPro type situation. Um, and then not really a GoPro, it's like a GoPro though. Anyway, I have this thing in case I want to use my phone. I don't think that's ever gonna happen, but I have it. And then I have like my, you know, my charger for my camera, SD cards, all that fun stuff because I am dedicated to my channel. Anyway, moving on. This right down here is nothing special at all. I have a bunch of vines that I couldn't find places for right there. And then I have all of this yarn because I was very into crocheting and I still am trying to crochet something. It's just not getting that far okay so this is a very bottom drawer it's such a weird angle but like i don't know this is my very bottom drawer i have a, the little instruction manual for something that i literally cannot find i think it's in my mom's stuff it's my mini waffle iron and this drawer is literally going to start to be dedicated to when i buy anything that i want to take with me when i go into like when i move out on my own like my mom had bought me a bunch of um like a you know, for Christmas, I got this for Christmas. I'm pretty sure at least. I got this for Christmas um, and they're, it's left like cooking tools, but it's for left-handed people because I'm left-handed. So I have that, which is really nice. And I'm keeping these in here because I don't want to use them until I move out. And then these are mine. Like I did buy them. They were in the kitchen at my old house for a really long time. Like they're really cracked and stuff, but these are mine. Like I'm the one who paid for them. So I put them in the drawer 
so I can use them if I want them and I'll just keep putting them back here and they're mine. And I really wanted to start buying like little stuff and if I, I also really want to start going to like Color Me Mind, Color Me Mind, jeez why did I say mind? Color Me Mind and to like make my own kitchenware um, and I'll just start putting them in here and wherever else I can find room because I'm definitely going to run out of room fast in here but there's that and this is down here is my hot mess. Moving on. Okay, so before we get into the little details of what's on this side of my bed, I'm going to get into my bed. So, this is my bed. I'm pretty sure it's like a queen or something. I really don't know what size my bed is. But it's so much bigger than my twin bed that I had before, and I'm so happy about it. I also have a bunch of stuffed animals that I love. Anyway, so I have this one. Um, I don't know what their name is. It's, a, it's a, uh, one of the ones from... It's a Build-A-Bear. Um, um, three of these are Build-A-Bears. But anyway, I'm pretty sure that my grandparents taught me to, My grandparents were the ones who got me to, like, go get it. But I don't remember its name. I know its birth certificate is somewhere. I just don't have it. But I like this one a lot. And, like, the teddy bear, like, is, like, um, just very, like, very teddy bear, teddy, teddy bear -y, I guess. It just gives me, like, I don't know, the feels. Anyway, so the middle one... This one is Damon. This one is Damon Salvatore. Um, me and my friend went to Build a Bear and we decided that we were gonna get matching bears. Um, and he has like a little holder so I can wear him as like on the front of me or like on as a backpack, but like most likely on the front of me because that's how you wear babies. Um, but I, he has like a little one of those. I didn't get him any clothes. Maybe I'll go back one day to get him clothes or like I'll order him some like on the website and maybe I'll like send him some clothes and we'll get him like some like Damon themed wear maybe we can find him like a leather jacket that'd be kind of fun um but yeah this is Damon Salvatore my best friend she has Stefan Salvatore that's our bears and then we have Stitch obviously I did this I got him for a costume that I was doing for Halloween but I love Stitch Lilo and Stitch is one of my favorite movies so that's that and then yes okay a lot of people so there's this kid from my school and he hates house musical and every time anyone mentions it he gets all like mean about it and I was just kind of like um because I was a high school musical person okay this is her she cute whatever she's got her high school musical like fit on she got the shirt with everybody on it she's got the pants that say Brian and Taylor and there was a button that was supposed to like say something but it doesn't work anymore I'm pretty sure it used, I don't know, it's just to say something for high school. I really have no idea. But she has her, her heart still. But she's really cute. I love her. I love her outfit. It's like so old school and I love it. It makes me really happy. Anyway, there's that. Let's pan up a little bit and we'll show you guys like my wall. Because I got this tapestry a while ago and you guys saw me hang it up for the first time. But I just kind of want to show you kind of what it looks like on this wall. As you can kind of see, my head's down here. But that's my tapestry. I've got little vines chilling right there and then we've got my bucket hats are hanging up on the wall you see some of those a little bit more when I move over to like my closet but yeah so that those are the bucket hats super cute I'm loving it yeah cool next okay so now we're over here I've got all my bucket hats here and then right here there's a little hook and I've got like this giant thing do you guys remember these this these things and it's got like the hood and there's like a giant pocket yeah so there's that just chilling right here and then we have another regular jacket underneath it that I thrifted okay and then we have all my bucket hats and now I'm gonna pan to the floor because there is stuff on the floor of course as we know this is what's happening I've got this little thing that I really want to hang up somewhere because my sister gave it to me but I'm putting it in the corner for now because I don't know what to do with it and then I have two pairs of shoes which is are my Reeboks and my Fila's um yeah I just don't know where else to put them I'm like running out of room for shoes and stuff like that and I know that I'm gonna keep buying shoes and like maybe I don't know we'll figure it out it's fine anyway and then I have my salt lamp right here, and then I'm trying to wear my Apple Watch more often. And I plugged, I turned, I took it out of the drawer and I plugged it in, and like set up a spot for it to always be, which is right here. And I keep forgetting it still. Like I want to start wearing it to school, but I always forget it. And I, I don't need to wear it to work because I keep dipping it in the water. But like, I really just need to wear it anyway. Um, so yeah, my that's right here. I have a stuffed animal here, which I got from the sugar factory in Las Vegas. She's cute. And then I have like a little charger thing here because like the outlet on this side was like behind my bed. So my dad put this there so I could have like a charging system on the second side of my bed. 
just in case. Um, but yeah, let's pan over to my closet and we'll just go over that real quick. There are a bunch of bags up here along with like um, another hat and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. If you guys want to see like a bag collection video, let me know. I have like a crap ton of bags, so I really could do that. That's actually a really good idea. That's a note to self. Anyway, let's move on to my closet, shall we? Um, so first of all, on my closet, we have these hanging up here. This is my Cold Stone visor, along with the thing I was talking about earlier for Damon to sit in. Okay, so I'm like really, really bad at angling this right now, so we're just gonna have to deal with it. Anyway, there's a bunch. This bag is literally just full of other bags and like basically it. Um, I have uh, my dance bag underneath this little box. This box has some shoes in it, really cute boots that I just can't wait to wear. And once I wear them, I will make sure you guys see them. Then I have these heels that I got a while ago, and then I have another pair of heels and some my Delia's, and then I have a Cold Stone hat that I got when I first started and I never wear it. Some jeans that and pants that, well these pants fit me, but the jeans don't fit me, so they're sitting there until they do fit me. Um, and then I have my records in this bag, and then I have some lights sitting back there. My clothes are all up here. And then at the very top, it's literally just storage for all of my crap that I really don't want you guys to see because it's really ugly. It's literally just a bunch of stuffed animals and then a bunch of stuff from when I was younger. So let's move on, shall we? Okay guys, are you ready for my bathroom? So on the door, we can kind of see, I have this little fun thing, like chilling. I just hung it up, super cute. This is my bathroom, shall we get started? Okay, so we're gonna move right to left. So my toilet is here on the right side of my bathroom. Um, I will show you guys the little painting thing that my dad got. Um, that we hung up above it, which very much gives me like hotel vibes, but I'll show you guys that in a minute. Okay, so back to where I was saying. Anyway, so this is the right side. We're gonna go right to left. Um, but yeah, this is right next to the toilet. I have these that my sister gave me. We have two trophies, one of which the red one is from 2015. The other one is from 2013. These are both from Dance Nationals, American Dance, Dance America Nationals, Nationals. Anyway, I have this from when I was a baby. I have this little like thing that my sister made me for Christmas. And then I have a little like shaky thingy with a pull right in of me and my bestie Gigi. Uh, you guys have probably, you guys have seen her. I know for a fact you have. Anyway, so then we have my towels here and I'll pan over to see the painting. So that's the painting right there. Okay, so the lighting's better now. Okay, so now we have my mini fridge, as you guys know. She's super cute. She has like basically the same things in it. We just have like, the serum that I've had for like literally ever that I don't ever use and I'm really scared that it's like expired. Then we have all of this thing, you know, as you guys have seen before, I remember I bought a lot of my room tour stuff I ended up buying with you guys. Anyway, anyway, all the stuff you guys have already seen before, but it's just in a new location. Anyway, you, obviously you guys have already seen this before. Basically the same setup, I just did a little differently. I got some new necklaces, my sister made this one over here. Super fun. Okay, so then we move on over here, we've got... This little thing that my mom got me for my birthday and I put all these fun little scrunchies on it for display and or to use because I do you like to use this one a lot and I want to try to use some of these ones more often because these are just like the fun colored ones that I really like. And then right next to it, you can't really see, it's kind of out of frame, but I got the this um, cleansing water um, to take off my makeup. So I got that. And then we're going to move on this way. Okay, so now I'm on the side. You can see me in my mirror, which is really awkward. So... Basically, I'm going to talk this way as I pointed out because you can see me in the mirror. I have a bunch of perfumes. I have this one, which is also extremely old. Jeez, I really need to like use my stuff faster. I just bought this one. It's a Scorpio perfume. This one I've had for like a hot minute as well. Um, but I do really like this one. It's the Love and Sunshine one from Bath and Body Works. And then I have a JLo one that I got. These three right here I got for Christmas. This one was a million, million years ago. This one was recent. So I just need to use it. And then I bought myself these Daisy Marc Jacobs ones and then this Daisy Love Marc Jacobs, like these little ones. Um, because I really like the Daisy one. I had like a, I still have the spray ones in one of my drawers and they're so, just so nice. And I really like it. And then I have the Cloud um, Ariana Grande one, which is super cute. I love it. There's that. And then we have a toothbrush sink over to the corner. Okay, so over to the corner, we up here, you kind of can't see it, but... I have my hair thingy just hanging up here, which is fine. You guys can't see it. It's okay. And then I have my witch hazel right here. And then I have this cute little bag. It says my name on it. Um, I had it since I was a kid. It um, 
I don't know, it just has my name on it, and it's really cute. And I put all of these cotton pads on it, so then I had, like, something to hold them. And I have, like, so many cotton pads, too. Anyway, I have a Cetaphil, that's the one I'm using right now, along with more Cetaphil and moisturizer, and then I have a different gel that I use for my acne, along with all my makeup brushes that I use more fre most frequently right here, which is really nice. And then I have some deodorant, which is... We've switched to the Toms of Maine. I don't know really why my mom bought this stuff for us for Christmas. Um, if you guys saw that video, as I've already said a billion times. But yeah, there's that. Okay, so now that we're down here, I have this little cloth that I use to take off my makeup as well. I feel like it doesn't work that good, but like it... I mean, it does, but it almost doesn't. I don't know. This is the rag that I use to wash my face every day. Um, I do switch it out so far. And then I have more cotton pads. Down here is really not all that crazy, to be honest with you, but it's this side that I wanted to show you guys the most. I have this little setup. Okay, so I have this little setup right here, which is super cute. Um, I have my blow dryer, my straightener, curling wand that I don't really use because my hair's short. Then down here, I have all this like other little hair products down here. Um, this stuff down here is literally just like a hot mess, so like we're just going to pretend that's not a thing. So then we have all this super cute. I love it. It makes me very happy. We're going to move on to the drawers. Okay, so in the first drawer, we have a bunch of makeup. So I will kind of tell you how I organized it. I have, like, this usually goes here just because it's, like, the first thing I use. Along with my beauty blenders. And then there's some fingernail clippers right there. This little thing because I like to take a little bit of makeup with me on the go sometimes. And this thing is too long to fit anywhere else. It's just a, um, um, okay. So this is a primer and it's just too long to fit anywhere else. Anyway. Then the next section we have here is my highlighter. Next section is um, blush. And then I have like this thing that I got a really long time ago for like a tie for my eyelids. Then back here, you kind of can't really see, which is um, a bronzer along with two different um, setting powders. Anyway, um, so there's that. And then this little one right here. Literally just has all of my eye products, such as eyeliner. There is a lip liner in here because I don't have lip liners except for the one. So I have that for some reason. And then all of the rest is literally just eye stuff. Eyebrows, eyeliner, mascara. Then I have um, my primers, any other things such as like for my skin, such as like uh, concealer and then my primers and then my setting spray. Um, then there's also all my lipsticks back in here too as well. Go one down. Okay, so now we have this one. Um, this one just has some more, like, mostly just eyeshadow stuff. So I have the, this little thing of all my little eyeshadows. This technically should not even be in the store, but it is. And then I have these cereal chapsticks. Um, more makeup brushes that I just don't use as often, but I still kind of use sometimes, actually. And then I got this for Christmas from my uncle and his girlfriend. Technically wife now, actually. Um, I got these little set, which is really nice because I will be taking it on the go with me when I go to... Um, any trips that I go on coming up soon. And then I have some concealer lipsticks that she also gave to me. Um, she gave a bunch of free makeup to us. And then we have some just more palettes and stuff coming up back there. Moving on. Then we have my hair drawer. My legs look awkward, I'm sorry. Um, so we have my hair drawer, which consists of hairspray, sh dry shampoo, this like texturing mist, some headbands. Um, then I have like 50 billion hairbrushes like look one two three four this one doesn't really count And then there's like a little one back there and then I have my hair ties my bandanas and like some clips And then this bottom one is really not that important It literally just houses all of my makeup like holders two of which are like the boss star ones that I get from my studio And then there's like layered in there And then there's just like all these little ones and then there's this and then this is my big bad freaking case which i really love to take with me everywhere but it's so hard especially when i go on trips and i just don't know how to like take it with me but it's so beautiful i love it anyway moving on to the second set of drawers over there okay drawer number one is my skincare drawer or just like my self-care drawer so i have like this little container thing that like literally houses like i have two of the same lotions which i'm actually going to give away to my friend because he really loves this lotion so i'm going to give it to him um, and then I have more lotion and, like, this, like, mood boost thing that I actually was, like, sponsored. Not really sponsored. They sent it to me for free, which was, like, really nice. It's Adora Therapy. I don't really know. It's kind of nice, though. I did do a sponsored video on my Instagram about it, if you guys saw that. 
Then I have the Mario Badescu drying lotion on the side along with some free, like it was my gift, my free gift for my birthday from Sephora. Which some lotions in there. I actually got these today, the Mighty Patches. I'll let you guys know what I think about it. Or just ask me, honestly ask me, be like, hey, Tylee, um, what did you think of those Mighty Patches? And I'll let you know. But they're highly recommended, so I'm going to try out those. Then I have more chapsticks. As I'm telling you, I literally have so much chapstick. And I'm so scared that they're going to, like, get gross or something. And then I have the Aztec mask and just, like, some more skincare face masks back right here. Aquaphora, some, like, makeup tip book back there. Moving on. That's nothing. Okay, so I can't really, like, make this go any lower. But I have all my scrunchies down here along with, like, a little bucket of all of my clips. You know, there's so many clips. There's that. The bottom drawer is literally empty. Okay, so yeah, there's that. Now this is the door that, cause like technically my bathroom is the one that like sh I have to share with like anyone that comes over. And then I have two robes because might I add that we, these were bought for me when I thought I was living in two houses. Like they were from both my parents and I, we thought we were living in two houses at the time for Christmas. I was living in two houses, you know? So I have this one, which I use most frequently, which is honestly like so nice, it's so fluffy. But I do have this one, which most likely will just become like, uh, most likely like a stored one until like this one gets too gross and I need a new one. Or once I move out, I will like have both and just use both all the time. But I just like want to keep one nice so then I don't ever have to buy a new one. So there's that one. I use this one the most, mostly just because it's like really fluffy and I love it. So over to here, we have this little hook back here, which is like the dumbest thing on the planet. There's this little hook. And this thing just like opens up and smacks it every single day. I try to have something like there, like a rag or something, so then it's not like ding, but that kind of doesn't really work. Anyway, I have this little head thing that's supposed to keep my hair from frizzing. I don't wear it that often. It's like a hair turban, you know? I don't wear it that often. I think it needs to be washed. That's why it's hanging here. But, you know, there's that. And then above it, there's a little thing that says, you are my sunshine. No biggie. It's fine. And then we just bought this, and it took us so long to put it here. So long. But my mom has her stuff in here. She, cause she, she doesn't really have a shower right now. So, so my mom comes upstairs to shower in my shower. That's why there's her skincare, her other skincare, her toothbrush. This is my hair mask. And then I have a body scrub, which is a, um, it's a vitamin C tree hut scrub, which I highly recommend. It's really nice. Then we have my loofah over there. There's literally nothing else to my shower, to be honest with you. Um, I have a razor that hangs up right there, but like, there's really nothing else to it. I have, um, I've been using the, um, EOS shave butter, highly recommended. That's the only other thing I can think of that's like in there that like you guys might want to know about. So there's that. Okay. So that is actually officially it for this video. I am so, so happy to be getting this video out for you guys because I don't have to hide my room from you guys anymore. And it's just going to be so nice to get that video done. I'm so excited about it. I'm also really excited and I hope you guys... I'm excited that you guys get to see it. I didn't finish my sentence. I'm so sorry. I moved on so fast. Um, I'm excited that you guys get to see it. And I really, really hope you guys like it. Please, please, please give it a thumbs up. I have so many fun videos coming up. And I'm so excited about it. It's like really insane. Please subscribe and tell all your friends and subscribe. Tell them to subscribe. Tell them to like and comment. Um, Comment what... What was your favorite part of my room tour? Like, which part did you like the most? I really want to know. Um, so yeah, and I, you know, really hope you guys liked it, as I already said. Um, last but not least, have a good day, good night, good evening, or whenever you're watching this. Bye!